Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I thought I'd make a quick video about the Windows 11 22H2 issues because I should have made this a few days ago, but I got really busy. But now I'm just making a quick video explaining what's going on. So essentially, Windows 11 22H2 was causing major performance issues in games for a lot of systems, mostly the ones with dedicated GPUs. So if you have upgraded to 22H2 recently and noticed your games are not performing as well, it's because there's a bug that Microsoft actually acknowledged and they pulled the update for some computers because of the issues with performance in games and Microsoft's working on a cumulative update to address the issues as it says. This is actually the first article I came across about the issue and it's affecting i think nvidia mostly but also amd as well and it's because 11 accidentally turned on gpu performance debugging features so that's the reason it's happening and mostly you'll just see games lagging and the fps lagging so if that's the problem and if you've upgraded to 22h2 within the last 10 days you should be able to roll back and i would highly recommend it because if you're having problems then I would. If you're not having problems, I wouldn't worry about it too much, but I will link this article in the description. But Microsoft actually apparently ignored the reports because people in Insider were testing it for months and someone noticed it earlier in the year and Microsoft didn't do anything. This reminds me of when 1809 had that file deletion bug and people in Insider reported it, but then Microsoft didn't do anything and then they released an update that pretty much deleted people's files. Well, not everyone's files, but some files. But yeah, Microsoft will be fixing the issue, so if you're still on 22H2 and you can't downgrade, you could wait it out or you could just reinstall back to 21H2, 10 or 11 your choice really on what you want to do. Another article and NVIDIA mostly, I mostly see NVIDIA. I haven't seen like AMD, although it might be in another article, but I know my AMD driver kept crashing on my computer quite often and other issues I'll explain soon. But this is just another article saying pretty much the same thing about the bug with the debugging features is what's causing it. And Microsoft actually put a hold on the update, like I mentioned, so if you don't receive it, that's probably why. But even if you do, I would wait because you don't want to have bugs or issues. I'd rather have Microsoft fix this bug first and then upgrade because obviously performance is important. But I'll show you what Microsoft said. So if you go to the Windows 11 22H2 known issues, and I scroll down, you'll see lower than expected performance in some games confirmed November 10th. So if I click on it, this will take us right to it. And it says that some games apps may experience lower than expected performance and starting on Windows 11 version 22H2 affected games and apps. It's enabling the debugging features again. And it said apply to compatibility hold on devices affected. And it says if you're already on it and experiencing the issue, you might be able to resolve it by updating your games or related apps to the latest version. So you could try updating your graphics driver. You could try updating your games because I believe they're also, you know, fixing it in the meantime, but Microsoft is also working on it too. So really just keep everything up to date. If you're on 22H2 and you can't downgrade and you really don't want to reinstall Windows because, you know, you don't like reinstalling Windows. It's a pain. It's something I don't like doing either and sometimes you just have to or you just have to deal with it. So Microsoft is working on it and they don't recommend you force the update, like don't use the MCT, don't click the update button, wait till it's resolved and then update. So I'll leave these three links in the description, but pretty much if you also Google Windows 11 22H2 performance issues, you are going to see many articles about it. And you know what's crazy is that I remember when I first upgraded to 22H2, I was having issues with my video editor DaVinci Resolve where the audio in the beginning was like not showing and it would it would render fine. But like when you're editing, it like wouldn't show. And then if you kept like trying to play it, eventually it would kind of play, but it would cut out. And it was really hard to edit and it just seemed laggier as well. Like it wasn't performing as good anymore. So I think DaVinci Resolve was also affected. 
I also noticed that sometimes when recording on OBS and having a VM open, OBS would say encoding overloaded and my whole video would just lag. I'm not sure if that has to do with it because, you know, that's not a game, but it's definitely, you know, a bug. So I'd say that it was more than just games that were affected. I also noticed lag, like even when I had a game open, I remember I had a game open and I was moving my mouse on another screen on another window and my mouse cursor was completely lagging. Like it, I was moving it like this and it was just completely like cutting out and lagging. And now that I'm on 21H2, it doesn't have that issue anymore because I tested it and I noticed that all my issues seem to be gone. Now, the funny thing is I didn't actually downgrade to 21H2. If I open Winver, you'll see that I'm on version 21H2, OS build 22000.1219. I believe that's the latest for 21H2, but I didn't actually downgrade this. So Microsoft had an update for 22H2 and it was like dot 819 or something. And my computer was gonna reboot overnight to do it, but it never actually restarted. And the next day I was having internet problems, like major internet issues. I think that's why it didn't restart, but I restarted my computer manually and I went to go do something real fast because you know, my internet wasn't working. So like, what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna sit there and watch it update, you know? And I come back and I notice it's like, let's finish setting things up on your device. And I'm like, what? Like, excuse me? So I just went through it and I noticed that like, something didn't seem right. Like something seemed off. My theme got reset and like other things got reset. And I was like, what's going on? Like, but I wasn't too focused on it because I was trying to fix the internet issues that I was having that day. And I even noticed like in File Explorer, like my file shares were different. I fixed them now, but like they weren't correct. And the tabs were also gone, but I don't think I noticed the tabs right away, but just little things. And I noticed that it wanted to redo that update for 22H2, like the cumulative update. And I noticed when I checked update history, it had failed. And I retried it later on that day and it immediately aired out with like a download error. And then I rechecked, it found updates and I'm like, that's a different update. And sure enough, my computer ended up being on 21H2. Now the funny thing about this whole thing is that when I go to Windows Update, it wants to re-download the update, which is kind of funny because I'm like, didn't Microsoft put a hold on the update for systems? Well, apparently not every system or it, it had checked before, because I think it had checked before, like as in, even though it says it checked yesterday, it still got the update offer before Microsoft acknowledged the issue. So maybe that's why the update is still showing in here. However, I'm not going to do it because that update actually did affect my computer's performance. And I'm kind of glad it downgraded because then I don't have to, you know, worry about it. Now, the thing about it is that how did it downgrade? Like, did Microsoft downgrade it? Did the update fail when it downgraded? Because I noticed in the update history it failed, although it disappeared. But my theory is the update probably failed, probably caused my system to be in a boot loop because I know like two other people that I know had that problem happen to them where it got stuck in a boot loop. I think they got it out, I'm not sure. But my theory is maybe startup repair or something rolled it back because there is a Windows dot old still that my computer never deleted and it probably just said, oh, let's uninstall the feature update instead of uninstalling the cumulative update. And I think it had done exactly that. Now I did update it through an ISO, so it's not gonna show the feature update in here. However, I believe that, you know, I believe that's how it did it. It just rolled it back, which I mean, I'm kind of glad it did because I was having issues with my computer anyway. But if you do want to roll back, you could go to advanced options, I believe in Windows Update and then go to recovery. And there should be like a go back to previous build or previous version in here. And you should be able to revert as long as it's before 10 days. But in my case, it was still there for me because I think a long time ago, I might've extended the date back because I believe you can actually extend how many days you have to stay on that version because I think I was having so many issues. I wasn't sure if I was gonna roll back or not. So I think I might've extended the date and then my computer still had it and it used it itself because I never even told the system to roll back and it rolled back. But 
I guess it's a good thing because a few days after that happened, Microsoft acknowledged it's actually a day because it was on November 9th that it did it. And this was acknowledged on November 10th. So Microsoft has a major problem in the latest Windows 11 update. I find it crazy because when I had Insider on another computer, it worked perfectly fine. Then again, I didn't game on that computer. So that's probably why I didn't notice it because if you're not a gamer, you're probably not gonna notice it if you're not playing any games. But if you're playing games and stuff, you might. But like I said, even not in games, you'll experience it. And I had the bug with File Explorer where it kept saying working on it constantly in my last video, if you saw that. Although that was just a bug that was fixed. Um, it was actually fixed in .819, but my system had reverted rebooting for .819. So I couldn't really confirm it, but Microsoft said something like, it fails to localize folders and it was fixed in .819. So I guess that would have fixed the problem. But anyways, bottom line, if you're having a lot of issues with your computer performance issues, not just even in games, but just other things as well, like video editing, because I noticed my DaVinci issue was just completely fixed now after the downgrade. So if you're having problems, you could wait it out, get all the updates, like update your GPU drivers and stuff, or you could reinstall back to 1121H2 or 1022H2, because 1022H2 doesn't have the issue at all. It, it's a known issue and it took Microsoft like oh, like months just to discover it and two months after w Windows 11 22H2 was released. Like I noticed after the upgrade, I was having issues. I actually downgraded within the first like hour of having the update when I was having the DaVinci issue. But the next day I re-upgraded again and I kind of just dealt with it because someone else said, oh, on 10 I have the same issue, but for all I know, it could just be their computer. I don't really know, because I know someone else that also upgraded to 22H2 and has the same issue. Also, I don't think it's just dedicated, because I know someone that has an integrated GPU, and they're having the same problem. So, leave your guys' comments below. Are you guys experiencing performance issues on Windows 11 version 22H2? You know, I even saw a YouTube video with someone that, like, fixes computers that have the same issue, where FPS in a game was super laggy. For me, it wasn't necessarily like super laggy or unplayable. It was more of just, I just had weird issues and OBS didn't work right. And my system was just laggy in general, even when I wasn't doing anything. And I even heard cases of DWM using a ton of CPU and stuff. And it was doing that to me as well. And false readings with the GPU saying it's at a hundred percent when it wasn't. It was just really strange issues. So I'm just gonna wait for Microsoft to fix some bugs and then I'm gonna re-upgrade. Next month, I might actually reinstall. I don't know if I'm gonna do 10 or 11 because I do plan to actually probably rejoin my domain next month. So I may or may not reinstall. I haven't decided yet, but I'm just gonna stay on 21H2 for now until further notice. So anyways, thanks for watching. Kind of a bit of a longer video, but I just wanted to talk about the issues, see if you guys are experiencing any and explain it more, but That'll do it for this video. I need to get this edited and get some schoolwork done. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys aren't having the same issues that I had because I really want this to get fixed. And there's even more issues listed here that if you've experienced any of these issues, like look, sign-in failures, uh-oh. So oh, this is on domain controllers. That must be a server update. Wait, Windows Server for 11 exists? Okay, that, or or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just clients. I don't know, that's, that's a weird bug. Anyway, thanks for watching. That'll do it for this video. Bye-bye for now.